up everybody welcome to this video in this video i really want to run through just some of my favorite restaurants in the city that i've grown up in for 24 years I just because of my vlogs i know i usually go to a bunch of different places but i've never really made a video centered around my favorite places enjoy this video there's also a list of a bunch more restaurants if you ever come to toronto if you want to check out in the description so check that out and yeah enjoy the video we're actually going to breakfast and I don't have too many favorite breakfast spots, honestly, because usually I just like have coffee and don't really eat breakfast or have something small. But I actually haven't been here in years, but I'm kind of like a consensus, I feel like in Toronto that this restaurant has the best pancakes and it's called Mildred's Temple Kitchen. If you're from Toronto, you definitely know of it. I'm going to run through some spots that I've shown before, some that I haven't. And before that, so before I show you the rest of my favorite restaurants in the city that I've grown up in, I just want to thank today's sponsor of the video, who's actually sponsored, I think, most of the videos on my channel. I have a great relationship with them. I only like working with brands that I genuinely love the product. So big shout out today to HelloFresh. I got my box of HelloFresh meals the other day, so I'm going to show you a bit of recording of what I made and tell you a little bit about it. For those of you who don't know what HelloFresh is, I just want to explain it really quickly to you guys. So HelloFresh is a customizable meal kit service that delivers pre-portioned fresh ingredients based around your schedule. And for me, the thing I love about it most is it's hard to commit to new recipes and try new things and go to the grocery store making sure they have everything but when you use HelloFresh everything is just there no grocery lines and I can genuinely say HelloFresh's recipes are delicious and Hello Custom allows you to customize your box by swapping out one protein or side for another upgrading for a more luxe experience or adding a protein to a veggie meal. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals truly tailored to your taste. Another thing I love about HelloFresh is the sustainability element. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all the packaging is recyclable. And like I said before, the pre-portioned ingredients mean less prep and also less wasted food. HelloFresh actually cuts down your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. My personal experience with HelloFresh honestly started when I was in university, believe it or not. When I was away from my home cooked meals, I ended up using HelloFresh a lot in my experience away and cooking a couple I found is just a fun little activity and at the end you get to admire each other's work so I think it's great for that as well so if you want to try out HelloFresh go to hellofresh.com and use code JET16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts think about how many meals that is and I highly encourage you guys to check it out honestly because growing up with the privilege of a experienced chef dad and a mother who's also amazing at cooking it's nice to cook for yourself because it's similar to an art project you're creating something and you get to truly admire it at the end cooking for yourself so highly encourage you check out HelloFresh and I'll continue on with the video. My favorite all-time breakfast meal is Eggs Benedict, but you have to go with what they're known for here. Can I do the pancakes, please? So these are the famous pancakes, check them out. I like the thick style too. I'm not the biggest blueberry fan, but these are amazing. We just finished up at Mildred's. I honestly think the pancakes are amazing. I'm not gonna show you obviously every restaurant that I could go to that are my favorites because it would be like 10 year long video. Things like my burgers I've shown in a previous video. Burger drops I really love. Before I take you guys to, I'm gonna go for a lunch spot. I think I'm gonna show you a sushi restaurant I really like. Probably gonna show a little bit of a master list in the description because too much time to show all these restaurants that I love. So if you wanna check that out, it's in the description. So we're taking much for a little run at the park quickly and then we're gonna get some lunch. I really love Java Bistro. I've been coming here for years. I think the fish quality is great. I like the simplicity. My only critiques really, don't get me wrong, I, I really love the food. I find there's a bit too much rice sometimes with the sushi and also they haven't really changed their menu ever for years. Sometimes they have specials and they're good, but that's my only con. And an alternative I like is Miku, which is also in Toronto if you want to check that one out. I really love the fried lobster dish and just the sushi is good. So nice and simple and I'd highly recommend it. So you guys may have expected this little bit of bias. I do genuinely think it's one of my favorite restaurants in Toronto. We are going to Lee, which is my dad's place, which he's had for, I don't even know how many years now. Over 10 years, I don't know exactly, but I'll put it in. Chinese, French fusion. There was a point in my life when I had went so much to the restaurant that I was genuinely sick of it. I worked in the kitchen for some summers, so I was, got really sick of it. I was younger and this is when I was kind of stupid. And people would be like, do you like your dad's restaurant? I'd say like, no, because I thought it would be funny. I'd be like, I'm sick of it. And that's when I was sort of younger and pickier, but now that I appreciate food, I pretty much eat everything i'd say i love it and i'll show you what my favorites are uh, this is in the beginning of lee and then after that I that's quite loud in here but i'm gonna show you some of my favorites and some sid's favorites fortunately my dad isn't here right now he's actually in bali on a little vacation doing yoga and everything what are you doing dad 
Good. He's here in spirit, blood, sweat, and tears. On the top here we have the edible flower petals, the cheese sprouts, crispy vermicelli noodles, crispy taro root, and crispy shallots. Then towards the base we have our julian cut vegetables, we have carrots, cucumber, the icon, the green onions, and tomatoes. Uh, in this dish we have our different sprouts too, including shishu, basil, coriander, icon sprouts, and sunflower sprouts. Then we garnish this with pickled onions, pickled ginger, sesame seeds, and roasted peanuts. And then the final ingredient in here is our premium dressing. Most popular dish at the menu. How many ingredients is it? 22 ingredients. If you ever come to Toronto, you come to my dad's restaurant, you have to try it. Is this one of your favorite salads? In the world. My favorite. So a little romantic story what I did for Sid once when I surprised her in Montreal. She knew I was coming to Montreal but I flew like a couple hours early in and surprised her and I actually got a slaw from here. I took a takeout flew it all the way from Toronto to Montreal because she craved it so much when she was in university. So this is the second most popular dish on the menu. Cheeseburger spring roll. Using goodness. <laughs> So this spot is somewhere, I don't even think my brothers have vlogged this before in the years ago that they used to vlog in the city. But it's a Hungarian restaurant and they have amazing schnitz. I'm not too familiar with Hungarian cuisine, but it's amazing as you guys gotta check it out. I'm going from restaurant to restaurant, fit in as many as I can in this video. That country style, like I said, traditionally Hungarian. And I really love the sides too, the cucumber salad, the coleslaw, all very great. And I think what's amazing about the restaurant is I think it's pretty affordable for this giant schnitzel mashed potatoes, these two sides I got iced tea. It was around 25 bucks, which is pretty good. Family run restaurant too. Go check them out if you want to support them. Funny story happened while we were eating. So there's a chain of coffee shops in Ontario called Country Style. The place we went to is called Country Style Hungarian Restaurant. This guy comes in, who's about 80. He asked for a cup of coffee. He's like, oh, it looks so different though what you guys normally look like. It's a younger girl serving and she's like, kind of just like weirded out and she's like, yeah, here's your cup of coffee, $3. And he was like, country style, I usually go to only one something. And then she's like, I can get the owner if you want. And he's like, yeah, can I speak to the owner? And she walks by and I say, I think he thinks this is the country style chain. And then when she's going back, I expect her to tell him this isn't the chain of country style coffee. And then I'm waiting and waiting and it's just becoming like more painful. I'm just overhearing it and because she, she's not understanding him and she, he's older, he doesn't understand this isn't country style. So then I turn around and find it say, this isn't a country style coffee. I think you're thinking of that, right? This is country style, this is a Hungarian restaurant. It's not the same thing. He's like, oh, where's the nearest country style? And I tell, I show him where it is. She comes to me after and she said, oh, I had no idea that country style was a chain. Before I show you another spot, we're going to the Drake concert tonight. Play some clips from that. The show was actually pretty crazy last night. It started pretty late. People were getting a bit upset, but I think it was all worth it in the end. Ended around 1 a.m. I didn't even end up eating dinner, but for this spot, this is my favorite pizza spot. It's actually very popular in Toronto. It's actually Portnoy's favorite as well. This is an 8-4. This is great pizza. As you know, he does the pizza reviews. I'll call them and order it now, actually. Hi, uh, can I place an order for pickup, please? No worries. Can I grab your name? Jet, J-E-T. J-E-D? J-E-T. Oh. Here we are. Here's the big reveal. So what I got is the Killer Bee. And the Killer Bee has tomato sauce, mozzarella, calabrese sausage, pickled red onions, oregano, and also the honey is my favorite part. I love sweet and salty food, so perfect for me. Perfect sweet and salty. I feel like a lot of people might think honey on a pizza is kind of crazy, but trust, it really is amazing. In terms of fast food pizza, I really like Pizza Nova, which is a Canadian chain, I'm pretty sure. But let me know what your guys' favorite chain of pizza is that fast food available. Well, thanks for uh, supporting us, and sure. uh, it means a lot, you know? You guys mean a lot. I've been coming here how many years since oh, I was like... A long time. Four or five. A long time, a long yeah. time. It means a lot. All right, the last spot I'm gonna show you guys for this video is a place that's very special to me and my family just because we've been going there for since I was literally five, and that is Korean Village, which is a Korean barbecue restaurant in Toronto, and another family-owned business, and funny story, actually, the owner 
actually went to the same high school as me. Unfortunately, his mom, who was actually the owner previously passed away, passed away, I think a little bit over a year ago. So now he runs the business and he says it's all he cares about, it's just his mom's legacy. So they really struggled during COVID too. They almost closed. So make sure you support them and go check it out if you want some Korean food in Toronto. And for me, Korean food is just one of my favorite cuisines overall, just because of the variety from all the little side dishes that they bring, all the different kinds of pickles. You just get to taste so many different flavors while you're eating it. That's my ideal kind of food, if I'm being honest. I love sharing style restaurants. I don't like when people just order their own appetizers, order their own mains. Like I don't dislike it, obviously, but it just always like want to try other people's food. So that's just a preference of mine. And that's why I think I cater to Korean so much. Owner, Jay is super nice. If you ever go, please tell him I sent you. And yeah, Korean village in Toronto. Got all the side dishes. Got kalbi is my favorite type of Korean barbecue meat. And yeah, it's just a great vibe overall, especially if you want to go on a date. They've never tried Korean food. You can cook the food at your own table on the grill. It's just fun. So and with that being said, that will be the end of the video. If you're a Toronto native, make sure you tell me some spots that I need to go to that are somewhat close to downtown. They can be further too, just I don't really leave downtown that often. But yeah, if there's some spots that are further out that I need to try that are you swear by that are actually amazing, I'm going to try to check some of them out. For those of you who stayed to the very end, I'm going to give away five hats right now. So I'm going to do the giveaway generator thing five times. Let's do that quickly. Josh Pack. Josh Zinn, another winner, two Joshes, Sam Popowicz, Christian S, Chris Regino. Okay. Well, congratulations to you guys. I'm going to DM you guys on Instagram right now. And thank you so much for the support on the channel. I love making these vlogs for you guys and I'm happy to be home. <laughs>